Drop it. Okay, this is it, folks. We have a new iPod Touch coming, and it's been four years since the last iPod Touch was released. Now, um, is this a device for you? Uh, what features does it have? And, uh, you know, uh, at what, what price point and, you know, what can you do with the new iPod Touch? Now, if you want the functionality of the older iPod, which is just, you know, a multimedia device, the one you could, where you could play videos, music, and, you know, your iTunes stuff is in there. Now, I remember I had the first iPod, the big one, the really big one, the black one, and it's kind of thick, it's like this big. <laughs> yeah, it's a 16 gigabytes, and I remember I wasn't able to fully utilize the space back then. But right now, oh, we don't know, um, it's quite a small storage, even smartphones with 16 gigabytes uh, get full easily. Now, uh, you know, that was one of the best sounding devices that I had, even compared to, you know, the Walkman that I had before. Uh, my iPod really had superb quality. Now, again, I said that the last iPod was released back in 2015, and now it has a more powerful hardware behind it and extra storage, and it will surely attract people, you know, who just wants, you know, a multimedia device, and who are fans of Apple and specifically the iPod Touch. At a certain price point, well, the market who prefers phones that have more functionality, everything in there, and possibly quite, you know, hardware may not go with the new iPod Touch since at that price point, uh, the 256 gigabyte version is priced at 399 so that's $400, which is, you know, it's Practically a mid-range smartphone, um, even from the best brands. And if you take a, let's say, uh, not that high high end of a brand, you will be able to get even a high end phone from them. Okay, so the smartphone, well, it will really come down to the preference. Uh, it's either a generation gap too, even though it's just been four years since the last release of the iPod Touch. The shift towards, you know, a complete smartphone has dramatically increased. Well, just look at digital cameras. Um, the basic digital cameras before it was, you know, the small ones, the one that uh, from brands like Canon, even Samsung had their, um, even Kodak. I mean, they have the small digital cameras, right? Um, right now, they're quite hard to find. Why? Because smartphones have them already. I mean, the quality of the cameras of the smartphones are really good nowadays so why have another device people would want to have as much stuff as much features as they could in one single device though SLRs and DSLRs uh, the cameras are still fine um, smartphones are somewhat trying to catch up with newer phones with really really good cameras like those that come with Huawei phones now this is what, you know, a multimedia player device when, which even low-end smartphones can do. Now, unlike before though, we have a more powerful hardware with the new iPod Touch. But in any case, if you want this in your collection and you, you know, are a fan of iPod Touch, it's still a, a major improvement compared to the last one. Although you can't still call using the iPod Touch. You can do it over in the internet though, voice over IP, and it's still very much possible with a lot of, you know, features. So here's a rundown on the new iPod Touch, the key features, um, the Apple Arcade, where you can download lots of games for Apple. So also augmented reality, it's really good. Um, the new iPod Touch has the hardware to boast and play these games. It will come with iOS 12, the operating system. Yeah, you can do group FaceTime here. Now, for the specs, those are some just some of the features. You can visit their official website for more info. Um, they have the 8 and chip, which is more than twice the performance of the last iteration. 4-inch, 326 DPI, so that's a good density 
when it comes to the quality of the pictures that you see. It'll come in three sizes, uh, 32, 128, and 256 gigabytes, um, 8 megapixel camera. Not, you know, they historically have good cameras and a 1080p video. Um, it will come in six colors. Uh, I li I'm, I've listed it here. I think it's here. <laughs> so stay tuned and the new iPod Touch will be with us uh, really soon than, sooner than we expected. And for more info, visit the website, their official website. I have it in the details below. And you know, enjoy, have fun, and hope you like the new iPod Touch.